My name's Julie Cressy and I live in Preston and we're at the site of the Preston Park Run now um, that I have been coming to since the end of uh, February time. Um, first came along with the practice, the GP practice that I'm at and um, I was advised to go by our GP there and it terrified me to be honest because it's something I've never done before, I didn't really want to run but with the support of somebody um, that worked there, I decided that I should give it a go and try it out. And all I did the first week I came was just walk at the back. And I was a bit humiliated because literally the tail runner was behind me. And, um, but what happened was a few people at the end, the tail runners and the person from the surgery that came, we all went through the finish line together and they didn't leave me on my own and I just felt completely elated doing it. And so um, I've done now 12 park runs and each time I've got a new personal best. So I went to talk to my GP because I just didn't want to be taking medication but I needed some support, I knew I had a lot to lose. So um, I started off by asking her and she sent me to a group in Preston. It was more related to like eating disorders because I do think a lot of my problems were more like um, emotional eating and needing using food maybe as a bit of a crutch and when I was stressed or when I was upset so and that stems from a long time ago um, probably my childhood really so I wanted to do something a bit more positive um, initially I tried this group and I, I used to go along to this eating disorder group but I didn't want to feel as though there was something wrong with me um, that I wasn't going to be able to overcome. So the advice was useful, but it wasn't quite the right thing. So um, that's when I spoke to the GP again, went back and she said she'd support me, she'd weigh me at the surgery and do things like that, but she did mention part run. And as I say, I was really cynical at the start. Um, but I haven't looked back since starting it and I really hope it continues. I don't want to stop when I wake up on a Saturday morning, come down here for nine o'clock and I just, it makes me feel brilliant for the rest of it. So I got into part one because I wanted to do something a bit more positive than just um, going to a slimming group. Um, I've tried Weight Watchers and I've tried Slimming World and I looked at the Cambridge diet and I think because my father was borderline diabetic and I realised that like walking up the stairs and um, was painful on my knees and then I was getting problems with my back all the time and I just thought that there was only me that could do something about it so I didn't want to take medicine, I didn't want to um, you know have any kind of horrible surgery or anything like that but I could see what the future was going to be if I carried on. Um, I feel so much better, um, I feel more positive about things, I have no backache anymore I can run up and down stairs. I can't believe, I know I've got a long way to go still, um, but the support I get here, I'm not exaggerating when I say it's amazing. And each I come out when it's pouring down, when it's raining and sunny, and I, what I, I think it does is the rest of the weekend, I'm just buzzing from it. Like, I feel like I want to eat healthily, um, and I look forward to seeing people when I come back and I just love the buzz of it because it's so friendly. Um, I think the one piece of advice I would give anybody in the same position is you've got to, you've got to keep trying with these things. So you, if you really want to do something, uh, there's no point if you meet a brick wall like I have done probably a dozen times with this and got the wrong thing and not actually had success with the different things that I've been doing. So um, I think the important thing is to keep going with it and be quite resilient. So.